Hi everyone, welcome back to day 44 of online learning. Today we're going over unit 8, lesson 1.6, where we're going to be continuing working with division problems. In this lesson, we're focusing on how to figure out whether it's a multiplication or a division problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up, pull up our lesson goals and objectives for us to take a look at. The two lesson goals and objectives for today's video is that you should be able to say, I will be able to solve multiplication and division problems, and I will continue to develop my division facts to work on developing fluency. So that is what we're working on in today's video. We're trying to figure out when to use multiplication and when to use division in word problems. So let's take a look at our first problem. It says James had 36 crayons and wanted to put them equally into four boxes. How many crayons would go in each box? So what I'd like you to do is I want you to pause me and take notes using number of groups, number in each group, and total number. It says that James had 36 crayons and wanted to put them equally into four boxes. So I know that 36 crayons is my total number. I'm not getting any more, I'm not adding anything, but I'm splitting it up into four boxes. So there's the number of groups would be four boxes. And it's asking us how many crayons would go in each box. Or, so we're trying to figure out how many in each group. Pause me and think about an equation that I can use to represent this problem. For this problem, I can use division because I would be doing 36 divided by four. I'm breaking 36 into four equal groups or boxes. Now let's like take a look at another word problem. It says James had four boxes of crayons. In each box there were nine crayons. How many crayons does James have in all? Take notes of this problem using that same format of number of groups, number in each group, and total number. So here it says that James had four boxes. So the number of groups would be four boxes. And in each box, there were nine crayons. So number in each group would be nine crayons. Then ask, how many crayons does James have in all? So we're trying to figure out the total number of crayons that he has. Pause me and think about an equation that I can use to represent this problem. Since I'm trying to figure out the total number of crayons, I could do four, the number of groups, times the number in each group for four times nine. I'm not trying to figure out four plus nine because I'm thinking that there's four boxes, so I could do four groups with nine in each. What I want you to do now, it's with a family member or somebody at home, I want you to think about when you look at these problems, what's the same and what's different about each of them? Pause me and think about what's the same and what's different about each of these problems. Now I want you to think about what was the same and different. So how did you decide whether or not that you should multiply the two numbers or divide them? What made you decide whether we should multiply or divide in these two story problems? What you could have noticed is that what we were trying to do in our division problem is we already had our total. But what's different about our second problem is that we are trying to figure out the total. That's what our unknown was. So in one problem, we had the total. And in the other problem, we didn't have the total. So you could think about this in a way. If I have the total of 36 crayons and I want to break it up into four boxes, Whereas here, I have four boxes with nine in each, and now I need to figure out how much I have. But you could have also thought about this in a different way. Could I have used multiplication for this first problem? Pause me and think about what could be a multiplication sentence that I could use for this first problem. For my first problem, I could have also done, if there's four boxes or four groups, with how many in each group, I would get 36 crayons. Think about, does that equation work? 
or not work in this context of the story. So this equation is right that I could do four times blank equals 36, but problem number one is not a multiplication problem because if it was a multiplication problem, we would be thinking 36 times four and that wouldn't get us the right answer. I need to figure out if that's my total number and I'm breaking it down into parts, how many would be in each group. When you think of the second one, you can think of four groups with nine in each and that'd be multiplying. But I can't make four groups with 36 in each or 36 groups with four in each. That's why it's not a multiplication problem. Yes, I can use a multiplication sentence to solve it, but those are two different types of story problems and it's really important for you to figure out whether I'm breaking down my total number, like in this division problem, or whether I'm trying to find my total number like the, in that multiplication problem. Think about, in a multiplication problem, what do you know and what do you have to find out? Pause me and think about, in a multiplication problem, what do you know and what do you have to find out? In a multiplication problem, we're trying to figure out the total. Now do the same thing and talk with somebody at home and pause me and think about, in a division problem, what do you know already and what do you have to find out? In a division problem, you already know what the answer is or the total number, whereas in a multiplication, you're trying to figure out what the total is. So in multiplication product, product in, mo in multiplication problems, you know the factors, and factors, remember, are the numbers that are being multiplied together to get to the total, but you don't know the product, and the product is that total number. The product of something is when those two numbers are being multiplied to find the product or the total. You know how many groups and how many are in each group, but you don't know the total number of the crayons. In a division problem though, you know the total number of things and you're trying to figure out how many groups there are, how many are in each group. Like in the crayon problem, you know how many groups there are, but you don't know how many in each of those groups or in each of those boxes. What's important for you to do though, is you need to be able to make sense of the problem to solve it. So if it's easier for you to think four times what equals 36, that's fine. As long as you understand that it's not multiplication because it wouldn't be 36 times four. You can use this equation to help you figure it out. But as long as you're understanding the context of what the story problem is asking you. Your half due today is page 482 and 483. And what it is doing is it's trying to dive into whether it's multiplication or division. So it's really important when you're solving this for you to be paying attention to what the question is asking you to figure out. And you also need to be working on your division flashcards and you need to be working on the facts that I am working on pile for at least 10 minutes along with doing 15 minutes of IXL. I'm gonna pull up that half due right now so we can take a look at it. Here is your half due for today. It's pages 482 to 483, and you're going to be solving school supplies. And it says solve each problem and show your thinking. You need to make sure that you show your work for every problem. That way I'm able to figure out whether you understand it's multiplication or division. And know that there are two pages, so you need to solve one through six and show your work for every problem to get full credit. Now I'm going to pull up your success criteria for today of what you should be able to say once you're done with this video and this half do. Your success criteria, you should be able to say that I can solve division story problems with remainders. I can solve story problems by figuring out if the operation is multiplication or division. And I can solve division facts accurately and quickly and that will be shown by you practicing your division flashcards. Now let's take a look at your half do for today. For your half due today, you need to complete pages 482 to 483 school supplies and make sure to show your work. And then you need to practice your facts I'm working on division flashcards for 10 minutes and then do 15 minutes of IXL only on the highlighted skills. It's really important that you're being honest to make sure that you're getting those 10 minutes in on your flashcards 
or else it's only going to hurt you in the long run when you're going to fourth grade. This is, these are facts that you need to know and be able to answer fluently and quickly. And take a look at our rubric below to see how you will be scored. To get a three, you need to say that I worked on all of the problems on pages 482 to 483, showed your work, and practiced my division flashcards and did 15 minutes of IXL.